Welcome to Deep Thought. Synchronicity and Gain. Um, let me shout out uh, one of my supporters who wanted me to address this topic, uh, Flowmaster8. Now, synchronicity, that's defined as a simultaneous occurrence of events that appear significantly related but have no discernible causal connection. Game. Game is a... Uh, you know, depending on what it is, has several meanings, but in this context, we'll just say strategies uh, for getting members of the opposite sex. And just to be clear, it doesn't necessarily mean manipulation. A lot of people think it automatically means manipulation, but if someone's strategy for getting the opposite sex it is to be radically honest or to be an upstanding human being with plenty of integrity, that's still game, even though they probably wouldn't use the term, but that's still their strategy. If they say, I'm just going to be a good guy, I'm going to get who I can, that's strategy. So how are these two things connected? All right, you know what? Let me go real deep with y'all. Let me go real deep. Because when you say things, synchronicity, right? And, you know, it's different. It's like coincidences and stuff that uh, bring you together right like here's one like say you meet uh your man you meet this woman at this uh mall right you just walking around but the only reason you at that mall is because you were driving and you got a flat tire or something right or something happened with your car and you needed to take it uh drop it off at a spot emergency spot right you drop it off there. You at a mall. You got to kill some time. You walking around there and you just happen to meet this woman. She's walking in there, too. And you feel like, wow, this is the woman for me. Wow. And I mean, you're approaching everything and y'all talk. And then, you know, five years later, y'all laughing about the incident. Right. Because, yeah, you your car got you there. But she was there for a job interview just during that day. She was there for a job interview, and the interview uh, actually took longer than it was supposed to. So, you know, or somebody else was there, something, so the woman had to walk around a bit before, like, actually going into the interview. Something, right? And then all of a sudden you meet. You were meant to meet. I'm going to tell you what. I'm, I'm going to go real deep, and I would just say this isn't really taught, but from the moment we're born... Spirit will always bring, well, not so much from when we're born, but once we reach puberty, spirit will always bring people into your orbit that you're supposed to interact with. Now, the science behind it, 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 it did take me another video to talk about it, but uh, and it, but people will all, people will find that they will always draw what they need to them, right? I'll give you an example. If a person needs to be, like if a man needs to be more aggressive, some in his spirit, he will, he will draw those type of women who will force that aggression out of him. Like it could be a case of where one woman just pushes his buttons till he's more aggressive, or it could be another case where he beats a woman and she's very resistant to him until he takes charge. Or you can get a woman who... She needs to learn how to hustle. She needs to learn how to stand on her own two feet. So she will draw that man to her. It will be some inner spirit. And or, you know, or someone has a negative view of the opposite sex. They will draw people to them who will not only bring that out, but force them to confront it. That's just how it is. So a lot of times you, you'll meet somebody and you'll think, why am I meeting this person at this time? You know, or it could be just to make you think about something or, you know what? I, I had one interesting synchronicity when um, I went on. Um, it was a uh, it was like way back. It was back in the day when I was still I was single and I tried that Internet thing. And this was before, you know, the Internet dating thing. And this before. It was easy to upload pictures and stuff. It was rare you see anybody's pictures, so you just sell the words, right? So met this uh, woman online. She liked my profile. I liked hers enough. And then we met, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't as physically attracted to her, right? 
And back then, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little, I was a dog back then. I was a hoe. <laughs> you know, if the woman was, it, it was a point, really, if the woman was, had a good pulse on her, I was good to go, right? But I remember, you know, she I didn't really like her body shape, right? So it was an interesting phenomenon. All right, so we went out. It was like a lunch date type of thing, right? And we're sitting in Freedom Plaza in D.C., right? You know, I got my necktie on and everything. This real sexy woman came walking across that I always saw in the area. And I looked at her, and I looked at the date I was with, and I was like, hold up, what the hell am I doing? And because of her, I all of a sudden became more pickier. <laughs> because I saw the woman walking across it. I was like, hold up, man. I got I to gotta stop being a hoe out here. <laughs> I really did. I said, I got to stop being a hoe, right? So all of a sudden, uh, my standards, which were not overly high at the time, that moment, they had been high, but then dipped. They came right back up. But because all of a sudden, because of that, uh, just that moment, this woman walking across, all of a sudden I got pickier, but I noticed the quality of women not just in terms of even physicality, but the quality of women as far as even personality, what they were doing in life, improved greatly. Improved greatly. And it actually led, led me to uh, dealing with uh, my wife. It was, a, it, it, it was like it was seemingly unrelated, but, you know, it, it changed something. And that's how it worked. Like a lot of times people don't realize how much, I'll say, invisible forces are affecting who you're dealing with. And who you meeting, and how you meeting them, and where you meeting them. I mean, think about how many people have met some mate just in a weird place, like some place you would never go, or some or doing something that you normally wouldn't do, or being in, like I said, being in a place you wouldn't normally be. You know, a lot of and and you know you'll talk about it. It's like a lot of stuff. In fact, I use I use my ex wife for an example. Cause we, we still cool with each other. We still cool, right? There were a lot of things that had to happen to bring us together. <laughs> so it was all it was it was so many. It's actually a story in itself. I ain't gonna get into the story, but I was just like, wait a minute. This thing had to happen, this thing had to happen, I needed to be at this place. And that happens a lot. That happens a lot. Like I pay attention to stuff. Like you'll just see somebody someplace and you like I'm like um Men and women, men and women, any man and woman. Have you ever just been someplace and you you see somebody and you just like, wow, I've never seen this person here before. And you might meet them and then you think about it and then, you know, like the example I used to start off this thing. You just like, wow. Wow. And that happens. That happens. That can happen with a lot of stuff, even jobs and stuff. Not just even game. I, I mean, I call it synchronicity in game, but just life just you know you just uh run into an apartment or you see a house or you just see something you see a job all because you know different things had to happen you know and and just in general just go when you're going through life pay attention you know whether you're going through for a mate job life opportunity pay attention you know like if you have an accident, like if like you driving along and you got a detour or something, right? And you forced to go a you know you forced to go a direction. You might see something that was very beneficial to you, you know, in one way or the other. That happens, you know. See, and, and, and really they happen a lot, but a lot of times people don't follow through on it. You know, people don't follow through. Like uh, one thing I do. One thing I do, if I get a vibe to do something, I'll just do it, you know? Like, I might eat, you know, like, I usually go out to eat for lunch and everything, but I might eat at a different place. I might just get a vibe to do it on a different day or not to bother with some place and then always find something or run into somebody, you know? Go to the gym at a different time. You just got to go with the flow with that. So it happens. Remember, there's a lot of stuff happening out there. I mean... I mean, I haven't gotten too deep, but there's a lot of stuff happening we don't see. A lot of stuff happening on our behalf that happens that we don't know about. You know? 
Like you could be interested in there's somebody like you supposed to meet, your soulmate, your twin flame, something like that, right? But you wouldn't have met them, but you know, you ain't thinking about it. It could be, I say, what, September first. You sitting chilling, don't know where they at, but on September first that person's with somebody else. And they need to break up and you know, something and then they need to go out to eat by themselves and you just out to eat by yourself. You know, stuff like that. So anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings. <laughs>